59-year-old taxi driver Paul Panton was discovered dead this morning at the corners of Hart and Scubbard streets in Belize City. Panton was shot while driving and his vehicle came to rest on Edwin Logan's fence. The homeowner says that it occurred sometime after 6 a.m. after the Belize Waste Control had collected garbage from the area. I thought it was a dirt truck, didn't know it was a shot. They caught a one bang I hear, and usually every time when a dirt truck comes there, would I pick up the dirt road and I hear a bang, you know. So I thought it was a dirt truck. So I don't pay no mind, I never come out. No, shortly after that, my daughter came and they knocked by my door, bang, 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 bang. He said, wake up, wake up. He said, get up, hurry, open the door. And when he said, well, I get up by my door, they open the door. But I never did look outside. And when I look, it's a police, they out have vehicle in the drain in your tree and things. And I come out and I say, well, a couple of policemen out here. Then after that, well, next bunch of policemen came. I mean, after six, going to seven, between six and seven, little up, you know, when that probably, when that happened, more or less. Because he came here about seven o'clock. And um, I saw the vehicle there, I get up, and the man me dead in there. Then after that, the media come, or the police come, the ambulance come, everybody come, see that time come, and I mean, they process the vehicle right there. I lend them a chain, they pull out the vehicle out of the drain, and they haul out the vehicle, and after that, they process the vehicle middle of the street. Well, before they process the vehicle, and take out the man put in at the bank, and the police truck came around. And, but I don't say, I don't say who do the shooting, I don't ever say whatever. I say the man, I don't really know the man, I don't know a taxi man, or a Toyota, or a white. Limited. The Kings Park resident was at his post at Cinderella Plaza when he received a call for taxi services. It took him to the St. Martin de Porres area of the city, but it would seem that his fare was a ruse and he was executed, shot in the back of the head. He received a phone call and proceeded to where he was found um, by police with a single shot, gunshot wound to the back of his head, which would um, warrant uh, us in saying that it's an execution-style murder. One, um, the content of that call, we do not know. Who made the call at this time, we are not certain. Um, we are trying to locate his cell phone. We are working with our, our telephone, local telephone companies in trying to get that information and hopefully when we do that would be able to clear up some of the questions that we have at this time. So who would want the cab driver dead and why? We have received several tips so far and um, we are even following up some um, information that he may have been um, involved in some form of business with a family that is very upset right, right now. Um, I don't know if their business went sideways, but um, the information would want to suggest that this is as, as a result of some form of business that went bad between him and those other parties. Me and he's a friend and he's a come and talk to me and I'd ask him if anything okay and he tell me yes. But you know sometimes People got problems, but they don't want to share it. Panton was recently deported from the U.S. and was a member of the Cinderella Plaza Taxi Cooperative. President Philip Martinez says that the killing brings into sharp focus the issue of security for taxi men as service providers. It's so hard and sad. We are here serving the people, right? But we don't have no kind of security. The only way we could get security is secure our own self. People, pe we, we're giving a service, all right. We're giving a service, and yet we're back against the wall because mm, we could go there. We don't know if we're coming out back. We don't know. So we all have to pray to God that we come out back alive and safe. I know some taxi operators don't even take certain jobs, jobs right? Certain areas, right. That, that's true because it's too dangerous. And whether you say you lose your life and you have your family and so forth. You know, it's so sad, man. I don't know what we will do and how we will solve this big, big problem. Dwayne Moody for News 5.